Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. This is the ever famous cork fabric. Okay, I have two pieces of that sitting here. And we're going to go through and see how it cuts. I have never used this stuff before. So this will be an experiment for us. Um, I have noticed that this stuff is rubbery. And it appears like it has um, almost like fishing string running through it this way. Okay, so when I see that, what that tells me is I know I should have multiple cuts going through this, at least two. Okay, so that's going to allow my blade to comfortably cut through this um, and not stress my blade or my machine. I'm going to use my deep cut blade simply because this also looks like it's got memory. Anything that is squishy, okay, um, or like a foamy feel, I will use this deep cut blade because I don't want my good fragile blade trying to get through it. Don't want it to chip, okay? Um, I took a guesstimate. What I want you guys to do to get your blade depth is do test cuts, okay? Um, my cut speed and cut pressure right there. Cut speed of one, cut pressure of minus one, okay? Does not ever change for me. Um, unless I'm cutting really thick stuff. Let's come in here. We're going to pull out a flower. For those of you at class, yep, let's leave it there. You know that I have a rule in and to the center. That's why I have these positioned in such a way. Okay? If that blade can never get close to that edge, it wants to bite, grab, and pull. Okay? So I will try to keep everything towards the center. All right, <clears throat> so let's place our little flowers. I am one inch down and two inches in. One inch down and two inches in, so that should be safe right there. This one I am seven down and two in. Seven down and two in, so that should be safe right there. All right, okay, now we are going to hit cut. When I cut things like this, I will rarely change my blade just because my blade depth may be correct, but because it's fighting to get through all of the different aspects in whatever media I'm going through, it may not cut through that at that time. So I'm gonna send it around once Send it around again and we'll see how we do. Hopefully I gave it enough room. Ah. Yeah. Okay. And I don't want to increase my pressure because I don't want it smushing it all over the page. I want it to be kind of an easy rider on that fabric but make its presence known. Oh, okay, so it's not cut through. I know at the top and I know at the bottom, so let's hit cut again and start again. And I'm listening for the snapping. Hear it? You can still hear it snapping. Okay, I peeked at the one down here and seen that it's still kind of hooked in some spots. It did cut through the rest of the spots, and you'll see, if I can pull you in here, see where it's lifting? Oh, no, right? No, that's the stuff you throw away anyhow. We don't care about that, so don't lose your marbles. Let's, oh my God, sorry, this lens, this lens in me. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so let's focus you in here. All right, so we're going to hit cut one more time. Now, if you're a speed racer and you need to have this cut all at once, well, oh, I'm not hearing any snapping. It's 
So technically that one should be cut out, right? Oh, looking good. Oh, 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 hot damn. Dang. Oh, this one has a little catches. Let's see, where's our little catches? Oh, one tiny little one right there. And what's that held on by? Oh, yep, that little tiny bit of fishing string. Okay, so you can take your scissors and clean up that two strings right there. That's what it was held on by. But there's our cuts. To me, that's pretty darn good. Okay, this one is absolutely perfect. There was nothing holding this one on. This one popped right off. Okay, I'm trying to get this thing to focus. Oh my god, never mind. I hate this thing. Okay, so there's this one cut perfectly and this one had the three strings okay that was at a speed of one a pressure of one and a blade depth of whatever your test cut will indicate my blade depth ended up being an eight on my machine for my blade okay guys I hope this helps you if you have any questions come and find me over at scan and cut canvas and scal help on Facebook we do not have unfortunately the time to get to YouTube to answer questions because our page has become very very busy helping a lot of people thanks guys